Happy Monday! In today's episode, we're going to look at five animals that you've probably never seen before because they're super good at blending into stuff. Get it? Because camouflage. I'd give that intro a 4 out of 10. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching 5 Weird Animal Facts. Number 1. The Leafy Sea Dragon, a relative of the seahorse that's found along the southern and western coasts of Australia. It should be fairly obvious where the Leafy Sea Dragon gets its name. Those long and flowing protrusions covering the fish's body help it blend in perfectly with seaweed. It takes this illusion a step further by mimicking the seaweed's movement as it swims, by hovering back and forth with the ocean's current. These animals are very slow moving, relying on camouflage as their only line of defense. Unfortunately, this can protect them against pollution, habitat destruction, and overharvesting by divers. In the 1990s, the leafy sea dragon's numbers were reduced at such an alarming rate that the Australian government placed them under complete protection. The welfare of these animals now has to be considered as a part of any industrial or developmental project within their range. Hell yeah, Australia. Number 2. Europlatus geckos a genus of gecko commonly referred to as leaf-tailed geckos. These animals quite possibly have the best camouflage of any lizard. Sorry chameleons. Leaf tails are found on the island of Madagascar as well as some of its surrounding islands. There are 14 species in the genus Europlatus, and their camouflage comes in two variations, either the bark form or the leaf form. The leaf form is only found in four species, most notably in Europlatus fantasticus, or the satanic leaf tail gecko. The other 10 species in this genus have patterns resembling tree bark, complete with lichen and mossy coloration. A great example of this is Europlatus fimbriatus which I have had zero negative experience with because they're so friendly and docile. Just like all these lizards, they have pretty strong jaws. <laughs> and Jason is not. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. ah! Good times. Number three, the stonefish. Members of the genus Cynacea are most famous for two things. Their amazing skill at blending into rocks and coral and the spines on their dorsal fin that contain the most toxic venom of any fish. It's a real bad combination. Stonefish use their unbelievable camo to ambush prey and avoid predators. And occasional run-ins with swimmers and surfers in Australia have given this grumpy-faced fish a bit of a bad reputation. The amount of venom injected is proportional to the amount of pressure that's applied to the dorsal spines. So when poor Mr. Stonefish gets stepped on by an unassuming beachgoer, it often ends badly. The reaction from a stonefish envenomation is said to be so intense that people have asked to have their foot amputated to put an end to the pain. So it's like when you stub your pinky toe on a piece of furniture, but not quite that bad. A stonefish sting can be treated by simply pouring hot water onto the affected area, which has been found to destroy the venom. Vinegar can also be used to dull the pain, and in extreme cases, anti-venom can be administered. Number 4. The Arctic Fox At first glance, this little guy's camouflage seems pretty straightforward. White fur blends in with white snow. But what happens when the snow melts in the summer? Like many mammals living in areas with seasonal temperature changes, the Arctic Fox sheds its coat in the summer. When it gets rid of its winter fur, it's replaced by a grayish brown coat to help it blend in with the summer surroundings. When we think of color change, we don't normally think about mammals, but the Arctic Fox is one of the few beautiful exceptions. Number 5. The Six-Eyed Sand Spider Do you guys really think I was going to go a whole episode without mentioning a bug. Found in the deserts of southern Africa, this highly venomous relative of the brown recluse doesn't bother with spinning webs. Instead, it lies flat on the sand and buries itself, where it waits for days, weeks, or even months for prey to pass by. When an unlucky insect crosses the spider's path, it's quickly tackled and killed before it knows what hit it. They're some of the most patient hunters on the planet, able to survive a year without food or even a drop of water. To take the camouflage even further, sand particles will stick to the cuticles on the spider's abdomen, helping it blend in even when it's uncovered. In lab tests, six-eyed sand spider venom has been found to be terrifyingly potent, but I'll talk more about that next week with the five most venomous spiders on the planet. It should be a fun one. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics you want to see in future episodes. Like and share this video and subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff. If you feel like it, check out all my social media garbage. And until next time, my friends, my name is Jason Miller, and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts.